artificial intelligence program oh. to tell you how to fit your bike, like where the seat should be, the handlebars. Now it says lower at five, but I'll lower before it said 10. We'll see how it works. Since I've gotten this bike, I've raised the seat, lowered the seat, raised the seat, raised it more, moved it forward, back, and nothing has felt quite right. I tried to get scheduled with a bike fitter, but it just hasn't worked out. So I've looked online and found, I don't know, this, they claim it's artificial intelligence program that will analyze you pedaling and give recommendations on what to do to move it. They had a free version, which just told me that the fit needed improvement, but it didn't tell me what to do. And then there was a $35 version, which would give you access for two weeks and you could do five uploads a day during that two weeks. And then the highest tier, maybe $75, and that gives you unlimited, but I didn't think I needed that. During my last race, very early on in the bike, my quads were feeling it and even cramping up some, which I think was partly due to the setup of the bike. So I just wanted to get it fit better before my next race. That's what we're trying to do. All right. Thank you. Counting down. Mm -hmm. Please get on your bike and start pedaling. <sighs> Just keep pedaling normally and looking straight ahead. Recording complete, you can stop pedaling. Video is now available to review and analyze. Technical difficulties. The chainsaw builds anticipation. <laughs> okay, so we gotta lower your saddle. By a lot. I so it won't it won't tell us much. Okay. Your arm until, pad height is good. I had a feeling it was gonna say that too, where my reach was short. Like I feel scrunched up in it. Yeah. But it's pretty much as far out as it could go. So I might have to buy a longer stem. But we'll see. Alright, so first. We have to lower the saddle by a lot. And then it'll probably tell us forward and back which way we need to move. Okay. So let's start with that. I don't know what any of that means, but let's see how it changes. All right, so now we're, we're in range, in the green, closer to the low side than hide for height. Mm -hmm. If anything, the seat could maybe come back a little bit, but it still says it's in range. The height of where my elbow is resting, it looks like it's right where it should be, right in the middle. But we're way short. It wants us to extend them out. I just don't think I have any adjustability there without buying new parts for my bike like a longer mm -hmm. stem i'm gonna try to rotate everything forward which should take it a little further and we'll see if that makes a difference <clears throat> 
Alright, it looks like I can push him forward a little bit by going a few of these bolt holes forward. I'm gonna move him probably too far forward and see what it says. Almost done. I'm gonna test the robot. They told me five millimeters and I'm probably going about double. Don't they know we're trying to shoot a video? Yeah. <laughs> that lady tried to run me over on my bike one day. You're right. Yeah. I think the trick is you just have to mash this analyze button a hundred times until it works. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Now it's uploading. Three. <laughs> Lower your saddle. I don't know how that's possible that all of a sudden the saddle is 10 millimeters too high now. It's still saying the arm pad reach is short and I just extended it by more than what it asked for. These numbers are still better than they were the first time, like the knee flexion stuff is in the green area where before it was like off the chart. Looks like the worst thing now is shoulder angle. I just think lowering it another 10 would be significant since we already lowered it to one. And if I lower it any further, I feel like I'm kneeing myself in the chest already. I'm considering just taking another video Oh, the chainsaw! <laughs> and changing nothing and seeing if it says anything different. Maybe it's me that I'm sitting in. Like I should have been more conscious of my actual position when I was pedaling. Yeah, the thing is you only get five takes for today. Yeah, so that'll, that'll be, be number tomorrow. four. Yeah. Alright, let me upload another video. I guess. Are you done? No, I just started it. <laughs> Right now you can stop. That analyze button stinks. <laughs> oh, now it says lower at five though, or before it said 10, right? Yeah. So it's happy with everything else. Oh, now it's happy with your arm. Yeah, it's yeah. happier with the reach. So let's lower the saddle five. And um, then we'll call it. That'll be the, that's what I mean. We don't have a choice. Yeah. With the thirty-five dollar version, you only get five video analyses per day. The next tier up is maybe seventy-five dollars, and you get unlimited. But I think five is plenty. I got my piece of tape on here because when I ride it in the garage, I sweat a lot. So I'm just trying to keep the sweat out of the bolt so it doesn't corrode and break. So we're talking tiny, 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 tiny measurements. And then, like I said, I don't want bolts to snap. So I do try to use a torque wrench. So I don't over tighten things. You're good. You go ahead. All right. All done.
still setting the saddles way high and I just don't see how that is possible. Well, it doesn't tell you forward and back with the saddle until you have the height right, but the other two claim to be in range. I don't think so far this is a replacement for a true in-person bike fit, but we don't live anywhere near someone who does it or knows what they're doing. I guess it's a good starting point. And we'll come back again tomorrow. It does feel more comfortable than the starting spot that we were at. Considering we've lowered the seat about three centimeters, I think that is a huge difference. It honestly feels pretty good. Yeah. I didn't think it felt bad during my last race, but my quads blew up so fast. I felt like my position had to be off, but maybe I was just a wimp and not in good shape and that would have been better. <laughs> Day two. More level. Get that weight underneath. Yeah, I don't know if it'll make a difference. Ready? Yeah. Start pedaling. And you can stop. Did you hit analyze? So, what is a good one? In range, in range. Arm pad height low. I don't know if it goes up any higher. I don't think I have any more spaces and it's as high as it goes. <clears throat> I know they sell spacers that go in here to make this higher. I do not have any. I think it might be as good as it's going to get. Like it tells me to bring the arm pads in. I kind of like where it is right now, so I might just leave it alone. It looks good. I rode it yesterday in this position and it was definitely better than what I was doing before. I'm more comfortable. I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. Okay. I'm gonna look online <clears throat> at spacers for this because I do think it would help if it was a little higher. Maybe my thighs wouldn't feel like they're going to hit into my chest as much. I don't know, for $35 I think it was worth it. I don't think it replaces going to someone who actually knows what they're doing. Like for a real bike fit. But that costs 10 times as much and there's nobody around here who does it. I'm gonna ride it like this for a little while, and if it still feels uncomfortable, I'll probably find a bike fitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm.